Hey, Diana J. Brody here from Next Level Editing Academy, and today we're doing Premiere vs. Avid Slide. Slide in Premiere. This is how you do it. If you don't have Slide mapped to your keyboard, I highly suggest doing so. Go up to your Premiere Pro pull down, go to your keyboard shortcuts, go to the Finder, and type in slide. There it is right there, your slide tool. Mine's on the W key. You can put yours anywhere you want, but here's how it works. Unlike slip, which moves your content within the clip, not affecting either clips to the outside, right? Just the inside, just the information within the clip. Slide is the opposite. You can slide stuff down, uh, down within your, your timeline. For example, here, I love using slide when I'm trying to adjust a sting. If I hit my W key where I've mapped my slide and I move boom, boom, boom back and forth, I can move the sting so that the sting starts earlier. I can be like, ooh, I really want it to sting there, or I really want it to sting much later. And all you do is click on slide and move it to the side one way or the other. Now you can also do that if you have a clip on either side. It doesn't have to have a blank on the other side of it, right? Like my sting did. If we come over here, and I'm in this clip and I wanna slide this clip where I extend that clip and shorten the clip after it, right? I go into slide and now I can just slide it around, right? I can make it come in earlier or I can make it come in later and it's dragging this side and this side, right? It's making this side longer, that side shorter or vice versa, depending on which way I'm going, right? Slide, works differently in Avid, join me. Okay, let's do slide, slide in Avid works tons differently. It's much easier in Premiere, but it is still doable in Avid. In Avid, if you want to slide, instead of just hitting one key and be able to slide things back and forth, you literally have to go into Trim. Here I am in Trim. I've put myself in Trim. That's this button right here for those of you who are button-centric. Mine, of course, smacked on my keyboard. Now I'm in Trim. You see I've got the rollers to one to each side right there on this incident point. But I want to slide this clip down. I want this clip to start earlier. I want this clip to lengthen as I stuck as I slide it so I'm gonna need to come over here to this cut point right here see how I've got my film roll the film roll points in now the film roll points out you want the film roll to point to the outside right there and I'm gonna hit shift and I'm gonna click right on the edge now you see I've got a roller to the edge I've got a roller to the edge now I can hit the M comma period slash buttons and that will move the clip in the timeline right these buttons right here are on the M, comma, period, slash, right there, 10, 1, 1, 10. So if I go, to, um, I could click here to go 10, or I can hit the M key, which is what I'm going to do. M key, M key, now I've slid it down. This clip got longer, that clip got shorter. This clip remained exactly the same, it just shuttled itself down the timeline. That's how you do it in Avid, to review one more time. You're gonna wanna put yourself into trim. Now I'm in trim. I get the, on this other side of the clip, I get the roller to the outside. See how the little film strip is going to the outside and then I shift click, shift click. So both rollers are pointing to the outside. Now I'm gonna move it back that way, slash, slash. That's this, that's that key right there, slash. Now I've moved this down the timeline. I've lengthened this clip, I've shortened this clip, and I've shuttled this clip down the timeline, but the content in the clip stays the same. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like or subscribe. And if you got any questions, hit me up in the comments. Feel free to check my link in the bio or the link underneath if you're watching this on YouTube.